G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden. I've decided to start a new worm farm. Now I've never built worm farms like this. Now this is a very different way actually for me to farm worms. But I've got to start with making a garden bedding. Now I've got some old cocoa peat, I've got some cow manure, and I've got a bit of cardboard. It's the egg carton cardboard stuff that I've ripped up and I'm going to mix it all together to make a new bedding for this new worm farm. Now they're not going in these trays. This one is actually coming indoors. It's going to be a special little worm farm and I'm looking forward to showing you how I build it. Oh wow, look at this guys. We found a couple of compost worms that must have been free ranging in the garden and they discovered the manure. Anyway, let's get this mix going. I've got the cocoa peat down there. I'm going to add the cow manure and then I'm going to put in the cardboard. This is the egg carton cardboard. Now it's dry but it will soak up a lot of the moisture because it's been raining outside and you know the cocoa fibre and the cow manure, it holds quite a bit of moisture so I think it's going to be a perfect combination. That looks pretty good to me. I just need to put it in a bucket and then get it ready to go in the new herb farm. But before we show you, let's have a look a little behind the scenes shot of what it looks like to see a worm farming YouTube studio. And look, these are going to be the new worm farms. Exciting, right? So before we get started, why am I actually making more worm farms when I've got so many already and I'm bringing them indoors? So the answer is quite simple, really. It's my first time farming worms like this, and I'm going to be daily vlogging. What I want to do is create these indoor farms. I've got the perfect spot for winter because the morning sun comes in here and they're going to be nice and warm. And guess what? It's got a lid to go over the top of it as well. So this whole system, it's going to be really cool. It clips down and I'm going to be able to cover it over so nothing can escape. And they fit really good. It was just a fluke that I found this container and I found those two small containers at a local hardware shop. So stoked to get this going and thanks guys for coming along and watching the daily vlogs. I really appreciate it and I'm going to do my best to produce content for you so you can enjoy and follow along and learn. I'm really looking forward to learning a lot as well. Okay so what I'm going to do so I'm going to start with the blue farm first. So I've got two in here, a blue one and a black one. And I'm going to date them uh, as well. I'm not going to be lazy this time. And so what I've got is around about 10 litres of that bedding that we've made up. And I'm going to mix that in here. I think that's about the perfect amount. And I'll leave just below, well, in the video what that is in the other metrics for you guys overseas over there. 10 litres seems to be the perfect amount. Now, now these are tiger worms, right? So, Cena fetida. And I've got a few hundred here. A little bit of them, some of them come out of my compost tumbler and some others come out of another worm farm. And so my guess is there's probably about three or four hundred worms in here. I'd like there to be at least 500. They might be close, so I didn't count that. I really just grabbed a few handfuls and went for it. And uh, yeah, you know, there's some mature ones in here, all different sizes. So a few cocoons as well. So a little bit of food left over from the compost tub and that as well. A little tiny bit of eggshell and things. But what I'm going to be doing... They're going to be feeding these all different types of foods, but because there's so much cow manure in here, it's it's really, you know, and everything, like this cardboard and all that stuff and that, there's already quite a lot of food, and it feels really moist. So what I plan to do now is I've got eggshells all grinded up in here, about half a dozen into a fine powder. I'm going to sprinkle it all over the surface, sort of cure it a little bit, put a bit of calcium in there and give them the grit that they need. If there's any acidity, it'll break that down too. I'm gonna to give it a bit of a spray just to sort of wet the eggshell more than anything. The bedding's already quite moist. And I don't want it any damper than it already is. 
And what I'll do now is I'll put the blanket on here. This is just a hessian jute blanket folded a couple of times and that'll just keep them nice and happy. That'll be the, the bedding and eventually that will break down. But I just want to wet that as well. Now I'm not worried about this being soaked too much. Um, it's winter here and it's just a matter of just locking in just a tiny little bit of moisture onto this blanket so that each time, because if it gets too wet, this blanket will also help suck out moisture out of here too. And it'll just keep them nice and comfortable. They'll come up to the surface and feed more here. So my plan is to start feeding these guys in about maybe five days or something like that, maybe even a week. There's a lot of bedding in there for them to eat. But I've got this spice grinder now. This is my new best friend. And what I'm gonna be doing is making up all different types of foods in this grinder and feeding it as a powdered form to these farms. And the reason I'm doing that is I wanna try lots of different things, show you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, learn, experiment, and at the same time, I don't want to be adding too many veggie scraps and things because I don't want this farm getting overly moist. Being in winter, it's not going to dry out real fast. And I've done a lot of that already. So this is going to be my new best mate. Stay tuned. It's going to be lots of fun coming up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because you'll miss out if you don't, maybe. And uh, yeah, more cool stuff coming on the way. Have a great day. Happy worm farming. We'll see you at the next video real soon. Double bammy thumbs up, guys. Bye for now. Hey, and don't forget, there's lots of links in the description and in the cards here for you to watch. Really cool stuff for you to devour and just keep learning more about worm farming.